hey guys so today i'm here to talk about writing <laughs> very different from my stories or videos or whatever you have seen me doing on my youtube channel till now uh, so the reason i thought of doing it uh, is because you know when i interview for my books many people ask me to give advice to writers to help them grow um, as a writer but you know i don't really believe in giving people advice uh, because they turn into uh, preaching sessions and people don't tend to enjoy them and honestly i'm still growing as a writer so uh, i don't really think that i'm anybody to preach you into becoming a better writer or something like that so yeah uh, today i'm here to share my own experiences with you um, some of the learnings that i have learned over the years that helped me grow as a writer and they still help me grow as a writer so yeah here you go so the first step is write what you love to read so why i say this the reason is um, when you start writing during your initial days into writing you have to be self motivated yeah honestly you have to be self motivated because many few people um will be reading your write ups many few people will know about you about what you write and who you are so it's very necessary to be uh, self motivated and to do something that you love the most because every day you have to sit down to write and if you don't do something that you love the most it tends to um you know make you feel um uh, a little down at times because you're not getting that much appreciation or whatever it is from people right so that is the reason it's very important to start with writing something that you enjoy reading because writing and reading are two very similar things you know when you read you you imagine that world you get into the characters you um literally leave that story in your head right so writing is very similar when you write a story you are actually imagining that world you are getting into the characters you are living in them you are uh, literally living that story uh, for as long as you write write it right um so that is the reason you know you need to realize what you love reading the most and if you are confused because you probably you know read many genres at a time then uh, try to look at your uh, bookshelf the actual one and the virtual one that is there on your mobile <laughs> so yeah um try to see what sort of books you read the most or what of what sort of blogs or articles you uh, tend to read the most in a day so from them you would uh, know what particular genre what particular subject or what uh particular things you enjoy reading the most and probably start with them that makes it easy for you to find the motivation every day and you can kind of you know keep at it every day so the second tip is learn up to four new words every day so why i say four new words why not 10 or 20 It's not that I doubt your capability of learning 10 to 20 words every day, but you know, let's not cram your head with a lot of information in a day because these are the very words that you are going to use the next time you sit down to write. So yeah, whenever you're reading something, be it an article, a blog, a newspaper, magazine, book, or anything else for that matter, do one thing. Um, try to find out. up to four new words that you didn't know before and instantly open your mobile and google the meanings and write them down on a sticky note and the next thing you have to do is stick them on a wall next to your writing table or wherever you sit to write usually so that every time you are passing the writing table or every time you are sitting down to write those words should be at hand you should be able to see them every now and then so that helps you remember the words that helps you uh, use them every time you are writing something new so that you don't repeat the same words over and over again right so to grow as a writer it's very important to know new words to enrich your vocabulary because that is how you can improve your writing okay 
ओके सो द थर्ड टिप इज नो डिफरेंट राइटिंग स्टाइल्स सो यू माइक बी वॉन्टरिंग आई डू हैव माई ओन राइटिंग स्टाइल वाई शुड आई लर्न डिफरेंट राइटिंग स्टाइल्स या यू आर वेरी मच राइट आई ऑल्सो हैव माई ओन राइटिंग स्टाइल एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ दैट बट वेन आई से राइटिंग स्टाइल आई एक्चुअली मीन द डिफरेंट वेज इन विच अ पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन कैन बी पोट्रेट थ्रू वर्ड्स नाउ वेन आई से दैट लेट मी गिव यू टू एग्जाम्पल्स द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज फॉर द सेम सिचुएशन हा सो द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज राज इज लुकिंग एट द वॉल हिज आईज आर ब्लैंक ओके एंड फॉर द सेम सिचुएशन the second example goes like this raj is looking at the wall his eyes blank now you might be thinking these two are similar sentences but no in the first example there are two sentences raj is looking at the wall his eyes are blank there is a full stop in between and for the second example it's just one sentence raj is looking at the wall comma his eyes blank so you see the difference right the second example is more concise there are less number of words and uh, you know it might fit a particular story more than the first example but i'm not saying that the first example is a bad example of forming an forming a sentence because you know, it depends on the kind of story that you're writing the kind of situation that you're trying to uh, portray so it's completely up to you but when you learn different writing styles you have more options and you can yourself analyze which particular sentence or which particular style of writing will suit this particular story so yeah you know enriching your vocabulary is important but enriching your uh, knowledge of writing styles is equally important so that is the reason i say you need to learn new writing styles when you're growing as a writer so how do you do that you have to read very uh, carefully you know uh, when you are a writer reading is not is not just a hobby reading is not just something that you do as your everyday job uh, reading becomes your uh, learning sessions you know when you are reading you have to observe very carefully you have to um, learn the art of writing so when you are a writer reading becomes a teacher more than just a hobby more than just a thing that you like to do so yeah you have to make the most of reading bit anything even a simple newspaper article if you uh, be very careful or attentive when uh, you are reading the articles you will you will get to know that um, the writing styles are very different and it differs from writer to writer so the more you read you get to know different writing styles the more it enriches your knowledge uh, on uh, writing and that is how you eventually grow into a good writer so yeah that is about it uh, i have given you three tips to grow as a writer do let me know what you think of them if you have already tried them out um, and if they have helped you or not or if you have not yet tried them out if you are going to do that if you have some other tips which might help me or other writers and yes i'm also going to come up with more videos on this um, apart from my stories and uh, my series lockdown shorts so stay tuned stay with me for more videos for more stories and for more uh, tips bye bye